So this week's raid challenge is copy of copies. The big key with this is that you can't put any of the buffs, the Atrex buffs, in the airlocks to shoot them out. So it's going to require a little bit of coordination, but if you're good at one phasing Atrex, you should have no problem with this challenge. And again, if this video provides value to you, consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. That really helps me out. So first off, if you're not familiar with Atrex, I have a video where you can kind of look through the encounter and details, which I will not go over in this video. You start the encounter as normal. You have two people go up in the space and you have four people down at the bottom, where one of those people at the bottom is actually getting the operator buff and going on top. Now, you can have four people go up to space to kind of help with DPS if you struggle with that, but my group found that that's not necessarily something they needed to do. So again, as you do the encounter, do it as normal. You get ready in space to do damage to Atrex. The one key I would say in here is if possible, if the operator has to use Lament also, which is fine, you probably at the end need to have the operator kind of hold up in that last piece of damage so they don't get the buff, right? They'll sacrifice a little bit of damage, but you're gonna find that it's going to save you a lot of problems later. Now, I will tell you, if you do happen to have the operator get the buff on him. There's a couple options you have there. You can actually obviously trade things up. It gets tricky because usually the scanner at that point is sending a scanner down. So just doing that in the amount of time is gonna be tricky. However, it is doable. If you don't do that, you can use a weapon with ricochet rounds. Um, I think Duty Bound, which is the uh, in the collection has this, but there's a lot of different weapons that have that. You can actually use that against the wall to shoot the buff off of the operator. That's another, uh, another potential way of, of dealing with that. Also, to maximize DPS, I would use some sort of buff as you're going into here. You could use Tether, you could use a Well, you could use a Bubble, whatever buff that you want to use, but that will give you that last little bit of extra damage. And of course, as you're doing damage to Atrax, if you have Lament, do three Light Strikes and a Heavy Strike. That's obviously the most optimal way to do damage. So then, as the encounter progresses, instead of sending your Operator around the room, and looking for a place to vent things out. You're going to have the operator primarily stand probably near the elevators or somewhere somewhere near that area. Basically pick an area where everyone's gonna sit. And the operator is just going to continuously shoot off the buffs off the off of the players who have the buffs. Now, you could just randomly shoot it off. Um, our team actually called off. The operator said, hey, when are we shooting certain people's buffs off? Just make sure you, you actually pick them up. Don't let them like fall down below. Try to stay in an area where they're not gonna roll around and try, <laughs> definitely try not to kick them around. So then the encounter progresses as it normally does. You basically have it in the space area. You have it go down below, you have it go to the space area, you have it go down to below. And that's four, those are four phases you can go through before there's a reset and there's a pause in the encounter as normal. Now, if you've done enough DPS, probably by the third or fourth, you'll be ready for the last stand. And obviously as that happens, bring everyone up to the top. If for some reason you do just not enough damage, there, you don't necessarily have to wipe to finish this. One possibility you could do is just continue to trade the buffs. And if it's only a little amount of damage, you can potentially then go do that last phase with everyone up there. Because remember, even as he fades out, you can do additional damage to him. So I would just go ahead and do that. Again, you're just gonna need to continuously shoot those buffs off. But for most teams, if you're good at doing Atrex, you should be able to do it in that phase. So then again, continue to juggle your buffs around, get the final stand. Right before final stand, you know, there's that little buffer window. I would, at that point, go ahead and shoot it off one more time. Now, there's a chance as you're going around final stand, depending on how quick or slow you are at this, there's a possibility that you could have someone die with the buff. It's not very likely because as long as you shot it off right before final stand starts, you, that's, that buff has like 42 seconds. That should be plenty of time to go around to final stand. And that's it. That's the entire challenge. Go collect your extra chest and get your triumph. That's the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, again, consider liking the video and subscribing to my channel. I'm putting out a lot of raid guides. Check some of them out. There's a bunch of them on my channel. And again, I'll see you, Guardians, in the tower.